UF King piece of ST, Scott Adams eviscerates Biden for promoting the most divisive race hoax in American history. During the Friday edition of Coffee with Scott Adams, best-selling author and creator of the world-famous Dilbert comic strips went on a profanity-laced rant against Joe Biden for making the Charlottesville fine people hoax the centerpiece of his DNC speech and presidential campaign. Scott describes this hoax as the most divisive race hoax in political history that has implications far greater than what appears on the surface. Sponsor this was not your typical rant that was all emotion and no substance. Scott revealed the actual dangers that could come from this hoax if Biden were to get elected. As Adams points out, the fine people hoax has not only been used to validate other mainstream media lies, but it draws a target directly on the backs of Trump supporters. If this hoax continues to go unchecked, Trump supporters will be falsely painted as racists for supporting a man who said Nazis were fine people. Adams said this very fact makes Biden's lie personal. Let's talk about Joe Biden. I hardly know where to start, Adams began on the morning after Biden's DNC speech. It was such a bad evening, dressed up as a good evening. Biden based his campaign on being a, the guy of good character, the one who cares, and at the same time and in the same speech perpetrated the most divisive race hoax in American history. The fine people hoax Adams continued by setting the stage for how the lie was perpetrated years ago. Now, what do the people who believe the hoax say to us? Oh, you crazy right-wing people are trying to tell us that we didn't see it with our own eyes and hear it with our own ears. And then they'll show the edited video, which is the hoax, he explained. If they show the whole video, it shows Trump without prompting, and this is the important part, there was no prompting, said I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and white nationalists. They should be condemned totally. If you leave that part out, it could be misunderstood that he was praising the people with the torches, Adams explained. And so, in order to not be misconstrued later, without prompting, Trump clarified to make sure you wouldn't interpret it wrong. And they lopped that part off and made it the central part of Biden's campaign. So Joe Biden tries to sell himself as the kind and caring guy, the man with character, and then he bases his whole F King campaign on the fine people hoax he added. Now, do I care that he's a lying piece of ST? Not really. I don't care if Biden is in a hole. Politicians can be bad people. I don't care that he's a lying piece of ST. But I do care that he painted a F King target on my back. This is personal. This isn't about politics anymore. This a whole, who is one of the worst F-King people in the whole goddamn world, just painted another target on my F-King back, Scott said. The F-King fine people hoax is not like other lies. It's the tentpole F-King hoax that makes people who are stupid and believe the fake news think that it's all true. Because if they see this was true, they say well everything else they're saying about Trump is true too now it would be one thing if he said it once, but making the centerpiece of his F King campaign. That is going to make me vote for the first time recently. This is not about politics anymore, this is self-defense. I'm going to vote for self-defense, because this F King guy can't be in charge, not with the race hooks. And people say well what about Trump? What about the things he says that aren't true? Yeah, he might say things that don't pass the fact checkers. Maybe. But are they ever like this? This isn't like anything he's ever F King done. Trump told you he wanted to keep crime out of the country and that turned into he's racist. Trying to protect your country is the F King job of the president. That is the opposite of what F King a whole Joe Biden is doing. He is not trying to protect the country, he's trying to tear it apart. The F King fine people hoax is not like other lies. It's the tentpole F King hoax that makes people who are stupid and believe the fake news think that it's all true. Because if they see this was true, they say well everything else they're saying about Trump is true too it's the only one that they think they saw with their own eyes and heard with their own ears because it got edited so they don't get the clarification. And because they're sure that one is true, it makes all the other things that don't have actual evidence or credibility seem clearly true. 
Adams continued by showing how this Biden lie could put a huge target on the backs of Trump supporters, but worse, it makes it seem like anybody who supports Trump must clearly know that he was supporting these fine people, and therefore it looks us look like a whole. Joe Biden, if you're making your fellow citizens targets for violence and discrimination and you're doing it f-king intentionally, you are not worthy of being a f-king citizen in this country, much less a leader. You have not qualified at the basic level of understanding in the God DM Constitution, which should treat us equally and should not have you targeting your F King fellow citizens for violence and for discrimination. You God DM F King piece of ST. Here are President Trump's remarks in their entire context, as you can see, as Scott said, President Trump condemned them without being prompted to. The reporter mentioned George Washington and Robert E. Lee before President Trump went on to disavow on his own. Furthermore, even CNN's Jake Tapper acknowledged that Trump wasn't referring to neo-Nazis when he mentioned fine people, Scott continued by describing how Joe Biden's lie has introduced a new form of political slavery, as he ripped into CNN and Fox News for not calling out this atrocious lie, Joe Biden has introduced a new form of f-king slavery. That's right he just introduced a new form of f-king slavery because this fine people hoax has the intention of winning the election, but also to bind black people to the Democrat Party. If he does that, he is once again taking away all black political power. If you live in this country and you're allegedly a f-king citizen, shouldn't you have some political power, how about that? Why do white people have political power? How come black people can't have political power? Because you don't have any f-king political power if you just vote Democrat because a whole Joe Biden told you the biggest f-king lie in American history and you f-king bought it. You f-king believed it, because you watch CNN and you think it's news. It's not news, it stopped being news several years ago. It's pure f-king propaganda. You know who else is? Fox f-king news. You're just as guilty as CNN no better I will make exceptions for some of the hosts on Fox News. But it's pretty f-king clear that whoever is producing Fox News is not too interested in killing this hoax. It's pretty f-king clear. So whoever is running Fox News you a hole, you f-king a hole. Fix this. You've got the responsibility because you're the main voice for the people who support Trump, or you used to be. What the f-k happened? I turn on the news last night and I'm watching Fox News talking about what a great f-king speech it is without talking about the center of the god DM speech being the biggest race hoax and lie. How the f-k do you leave that out? How is that not the most f-king important thing to say about the whole fucking event? That he was tearing the country apart intentional with the f-king hoax. How is that okay? To see more on the videos go to the link below.